Welcome to day two of the CCD in 60 days program. Today's tasks, obviously review yesterday's notes. Every time you embark upon a study session, you must always review what you did before until you get to the point where you've reviewed it so many times that the information has sunk in. That's the whole principle behind the 60 days program in that you learn something new, you quickly review it, which is normally the next day. And then in the following lessons, you'll be doing labs further reviews and reading the cram guide about this information so eventually it all sticks in uh, sticks in your head today's task then we're going to be reading about CSMA CD it kind of was in and out of the exam but now Cisco expect you to have a good understanding of it and you could expect maybe one or two questions in the exam understand what is switching what is the switching process and how switches work and how they deal with frames on a network. VLANs, what is a VLAN? What does it do? What are the benefits of having a VLAN on your network? Also how to configure a VLAN. And Cisco, most of the important parts of the syllabus, they ask you to understand the configuration and, and also the troubleshooting as well. You need to understand the difference between collision and broadcast domains. And in the exam, you may well have a diagram with a number of devices, for example, hubs, switches and routers, and you will need to add up the number of collision domains and broadcast domains and have to answer a question on that. Understand MAC addresses, how they work, how they're broken up. So there'd be a, a vendor's number and then a unique number, so you, under you need to understand which is which. And also understand how a switch stores MAC addresses in its tables in order to make an intelligent decision as to where to forward frames. For a lab, connect onto a switch, uh, preferably a 2960 if you can, because that's the model tested for the CCNA at the moment. Configure some basic parameters, such as the management address, and also configure VLANs on the switch. So, you, well, you need two switches, obviously, to configure VLANs, and preferably a couple of hosts or a couple of routers, one on either end. I just wanted to show you uh, chapter two of my 60 days book. So you've got the what you'll learn today and also it's been mapped to the syllabus. So make sure what you're doing is on the syllabus also. Should have gone to the next slide actually and showing you the syllabus here. So kind of stuff you need to know is the um, CSMA CD process, just in case you do get a question. Difference between hubs and switches. I've mentioned collision and broadcast domains and understanding how to differentiate and count up, um, count up the difference as well and how many of each. MAC addresses, switching concepts, how a switch understands how to forward uh, frames as well and how it builds up its MAC address table. Finding the MAC address on PCs. And then we're going into VLANs, what a VLAN is, how it separates broadcast, uh, sorry, how it, how it um, creates collision domains, how it's affected with broadcast, does it make a difference or not. Trunking, which is obviously a connection between two switches, you need a trunk connection to have multiple VLANs spanning a link. And also how to uh, configure basic switch parameters such as telnet into a switch, default gateway, and troubleshooting. And obviously uh, there's a lab as well which you need to go through. Uh, if you don't have my book then hopefully there's a lab in the guide you're studying. So that's all for day two. Uh, enjoy and I'll see you tomorrow.